Hello students and welcome again. In this lecture, we're going to learn how a security operations center or a SOC work. So rather than being focused on developing security strategies, designing security architecture, or implementing protective measures, the SOC team is responsible for the ongoing operational component of enterprise information security. Security operations center staff is comprised primarily of security analysts, who work together to detect, analyze, respond to, report on, and prevent cybersecurity incidents. Additional capabilities of some SOCs can include advanced forensic analysis, crypt analysis, and malware reverse engineering to analyze incidents. The first step in establishing an organization's SOC is to clearly define a strategy that incorporates business-specific goals from various departments as well as input and support from executives. Once the strategy has been developed, the infrastructure required to support that strategy must be implemented. Typical SOC infrastructure includes firewalls, IPS, IDS, breach detection solutions, probes, and a security information and event management or SIAM system. Technology should be in place to collect data via data flows, telemetry, packet capture, syslog, and other methods so that data activity can be correlated and analyzed by SOC staff. The Security Operations Center also monitors networks and endpoints for vulnerabilities in order to protect sensitive data and comply with industry or government regulations. Now let's discuss the benefits of having a SOC. The key benefit of having a security operations center is the improvement of security incident detection through continuous monitoring and analysis of data activity. By analyzing this activity across an organization's networks, endpoints, servers, and databases around the clock, SOC teams are critical to ensure timely detection and response of security incidents. The 24 by 7 monitoring provided by a SOC gives organization an advantage to defend against incidents and intrusions, regardless of source, time of day, or attack type. The gap between attacker's time to compromise and enterprise's time to detection is what makes the difference in having a security operations center helping organizations close the gap and stay on top of the threats facing their environments. So now let's talk about the best practices of running a SOC. Many security leaders are shifting their focus more on the human element than the technology element to assess and mitigate threats directly rather than rely on a script. SOC operatives continuously manage known and existing threats while working to identify emerging risks. They also meet the company and customer's need and work within their risk tolerance level. While technology systems such as firewall or IPS may prevent basic attacks, human analysis is required to put major incidents to rest. For best results, the SOC must keep up with the latest threat intelligence and leverage this information to improve internal detection and defense mechanisms. As the InfoSec Institute points out, the SOC consumes data from within the organization and correlates it with information from a number of external sources that deliver insights into threat vulnerabilities. The external cyber intelligence includes news feeds, signature updates, incident reports, threat benefits, and vulnerability alerts that aid the SOC in keeping up with evolving cyber threats. SOC staff must constantly feed threat intelligence in SOC monitoring tools to keep up to date with threats and the SOC must have press processes in place to discriminate between real threats and non-real threats. Truly successful SOC util utilizes security automation to become effective and efficient by combining highly skilled security analysts with security automation. Organizations increase their analytics power to enhance security measures and better defend against data breaches and cyber attacks. Many organizations that don't have the in-house resources to accomplish this turn to managed security service providers 
that offer SOC services.